We're going to do a couple more examples that have to do with increase um, and decrease. So the first example says if a city's population has grown 6% over the last 10 years and is currently at 47,700 people, what was the population 10 years ago? So again, you know, figure it out right off the bat. Are we looking for the amount, the percent, or the base? Well, again, remember, the base is always what we had originally, right? What was the population 10 years ago? So that's clearly uh, the base right there because 10 years ago is what we had originally before this growth happened. And so as I set up my equation, amount equals percent times base, I know that over here, I'm gonna leave a blank spot for my percent, but I know that I'm definitely gonna be multiplying by my unknown base. And then 47,700 is the only other amount I'm given, so I have to use that. Now remember, when we're looking for a base, we always have to check to see whether the amount and the percent represent the same thing. So uh, what does 6% represent? Well, that's the percent growth, right? Okay, so if the percentage of 6% and 47,700 represent the same thing, what should this be? Well, it should be the amount of growth, right? Since 6% is the percent growth, 47,700 better be the amount growth if they do in fact represent the same thing. But of course, 47,700 is not the amount of growth, right? It is the new population. Okay, so what this means is that this percent and this amount do not go together. So it would be inappropriate for me to put 0 0.06 right here. Okay, so we can't use the 6%. So what do we do? Well, we adjust the percent so that it represents the same thing as the 47,700, right? So new population, how do you figure out a new population? Well, that would be the original population plus the growth, right? That's how you'd figure out this new pop, uh, this new population. Well, so now what we're gonna do is make our percent do the same thing. So how do you express original as a percent? 100% of course. And then the growth we know, that's a 6% growth. So put those together, that gives you 106%. And so these two numbers do go together. So right here I'm gonna put 1.0 six, right? So 47,700 is 106% of what it was 10 years ago, not 6%. Okay, so now of course we can solve this by dividing both sides by 1.06. All right, so that's 47,700 divided by 1.06. Of course, I'm gonna to need to move that decimal point to the right a little bit in both of these numbers. So what we end up with here is, looks like 4,770,000 divided by 106. Okay, so let's see, 106 goes into 477 four times, and we get 424, remainder of 53, we drop down the 30. 106 goes into 530 five times, and exactly five times, so that's 530. And then of course we have these three zeros left here. We have a remainder of zero, so that means we need to just put zeros um, in those remaining three places. So what we get here is 45,000 is equal to X. So the population 10 years ago was 45,000, and of course we put a label on that, people. Okay. All right, so the next example we'll look at, uh, it says Dan decided to start using coupons for his grocery shopping and was able to cut his grocery bills by 18%, which was $72 per month. 
how much was his monthly grocery, grocery bill before he started using coupons. So again, they're asking us what, what was going on before the decrease happened. So that's definitely our base. So once again, we're going to have this situation. 72 is the only number they gave us, so we got to put 72 there. There's going to be some percentage of the base, which is what we're looking for, so we're going to put an X there. So now let's compare the percent we're given with the amount we're given. So what is $72? Well, that's the amount of decrease. What is 18%? Well, what does it say? It says he, he cut his grocery bills by 18%. Right? So, well, 18% would be the percent decrease. So these two numbers do represent the exact same thing. This is the amount, this is the percent. So it's entirely appropriate for me to simply use 0 0.18 right there. So I can take 72, divide it by 0 0.18, and of course divide the right side by 0.18. And so just a little bit of division to do, 72 divided by 0 0.18, and that decimal point Good thing it needs to move because it's kind of an ugly looking decimal point anyway. It needs to move two to the right. I need to move it two to the right and 72 as well. So the division problem I have to do here is 7200 divided by 18. And 18 goes into 72. Well, 20 goes into 72 only three times, but 18 is less than. Uh, than 20 so you might try 4 and it turns out 4 goes into 18 or sorry 4 times 18 is exactly 72 so get a remainder of 0 put zeros over the remaining two places so X is equal to $400 that he was originally spending on food each month